Bolivia. So right now I'm in a small village. They've got tons of cool souvenirs that are handcrafted by the locals. I always love to see what the locals have made and just support them in whatever way that I can. So really cool the stuff that they've made here. And of course we've got salt from Bolivia. This salt here is from the salt flats. Over 10 billion tons of salt are in the salt flats, which is pretty incredible. Llamas are very popular here. They've got llamas running around everywhere. So right now there's air that's coming out from underground. And that's why you see the bubbles right now. It's pretty cool. Okay, right now we're in a restaurant in the middle of the salt flats. It's all made of salt. These are salt blocks here, which is pretty cool. And we took some pictures with a llama. <laughs> Love to share with you guys the photos. They're pretty cool. Wow, look at this view. It's so incredibly peaceful out here. It's so flat. Again, this is not snow, it's not ice. It's all salt. About 40, 50,000 years ago, this all used to be multiple lakes that got evaporated and now it's these massive salt flats. So it's pretty incredible. Add it to your bucket list. You gotta make sure that you come and experience this at least once in your life. And when it rains, the rainy season is January, February, March. All of this turns into the world's largest mirror. It's incredible, the reflection that you see off of it. Uh, I'll have to share with you guys a picture of it, but uh, it's incredible in the, in the rainy season as well. So we're taking some perspective photos. I'll share with you guys how we do it. Got a llama here and Godzilla. These are really cool shots. I'll show you guys the ones we took. So it's all about lining it up perfectly. Okay, so right now we're gonna hike up the top of this island. This was once an island. It's so bright here. This is once an island back when this whole area used to be a massive lake. And as you can see, it's full of cacti, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna hike up to the top and see a view of the salt flats. It's actually a pretty tiring hike because of the altitude. So I'm still adapting to it, but incredible view up here. We're just driving back to the hotel and we had to stop to catch this amazing sunset. <laughs> 